welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve this integral problem from 0 to 5 over 2 sine to the fourth power x dx uh, so evaluate by parts and we have the condition we can't use the power reducing formula so take this is to equal to i so we can write i is equal to from 0 to 5 over 2 sine to the fourth power of x dx now we can write this as product of two functions so sine to the third power of x times sine of x dx then steps of integration by parts so 0 to 5 over 2 and rewrite the first function so sine to the third power x and d by dx now integration of this part is equal to minus cos x dx and now product of these functions so sine to the third power x times minus cos x from 0 to 5 over 2 and minus and integral sine 0 to 5 over 2 and then rewrite this function here minus cos x and derivative of first function so 3 times sine square x and according to chain rule derivative of sine x is equal to cos x dx if you want you can use the formula of integration by parts which is u times dv is equal to uv minus integration v du if not you can use uh, these steps so look at the question what we did again so rewrite the first function here and dy dx and integration of second function then product of these two functions and minus integration of uh, now rewrite this function here and derivative of this function okay now we know this is going to be 0 because cosine of 5 over 2 is equal to 0 and sine of 0 is equal to 0 so this is going to be 0 minus multiply minus so this is going to be plus so 0 to 5 over 2 now 3 is a constant so we can write 3 is here and cosine of x and cosine of x cosine square x so sine square x times cos square x dx and you know this equation cosine square x is equal to 1 minus sine square of x so we can write this 0 to 5 over 2 sin square of x and 1 minus dx ok now multiply by sin square x so we can write 0 to 5 over 2 sin square x dx minus 3 times 0 to 5 over 2 sin to the fourth power x dx so we know this is equal to i so we can write i plus 3 times i is equal to 3 times 0 to 5 over 2 sin square x dx now 4 times i and dividing out by 3 4i over 3 is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 sine square x dx ok now we know sine square x is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2x over 2 but we can't use this because we can't use power reducing formula ok now we are going to take this is equal to i1 now we want to evaluate i1 so i1 is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 now we can write this like sine of x and sine of x dx okay now integrate by parts 
so we can write 0 to 5 over 2 now rewrite first function here and d by dx and integration of second function is equal to minus cos x dx and then product of these two functions so sin x times minus cos x from 0 to 5 over 2 and minus 0 to 5 over 2 and now rewrite this function here minus cos x and derivative of first function is equal to cosine of x dx and now we know this is equal to 0 and now minus times minus so 0 to 5 over 2 cosine of x times cosine of x is equal to cosine square of x dx okay now we can write 0 to 5 over 2 cosine square x is equal to 1 minus sine square x dx and then 0 to 5 over 2 dx minus 0 to 5 over 2 sine square x dx and we know this is equal to i1 so now we can write 2i1 is equal to now integration of dx is equal to x 0 to 5 over 2 so this is equal to 5 over 2 so now we can isolate the i1 so i1 is equal to 5 over 4 okay now get the our previous equation so 4 times i over 3 is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 sin square x dx now we know this is i1 and this is equal to 5 over 4 so isolate the i 3 times 5 over 4 and divided by 4 so answer is 3 times 5 over 16 this is our answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching